Hey guys, what's up? This is Nainia from Tech Barracks Solutions and today in this Linux Mint tutorial, we will look at the various interfaces of Linux Mint. Linux Mint provides us with four graphical user interfaces. One is the Mate graphical user interface. Second is the XFC graphical user interface. Third is the KDE graphical user interface. And fourth is the Cinnamon graphical user interface. We'll look at all these four graphical user interfaces. First, we will look at the Mate graphical user interface. The Mate desktop provides us with a simple graphical user interface with the home folder and the my computer on our desktop. The home folder provides us with our documents, videos, music, pictures and so on and so forth. So in short, it's like the my documents of my Linux Mint. The My Computer provides me with my hard disk, I can access my hard disk files, I can access my file system, that's my operating system files, my CD drive and even my floppy disk. On the left hand sidebar, I have an option to visit various places like I can get the information of which location I am at or I can even get the history of the list of locations that I have visited previously and that I can even access those locations immediately from the history. That's really good because you come to know which locations you went and you get to also see what's your pattern if you want to get statistical. At the bottom we have a grey color taskbar which provides us with the menu option, the show desktop button, the date and time in the center and on the right hand corner we have the connectivity options of our hardware connected to our machine like whether my bluetooth is on, my sound is enabled or not and whether my internet is connected whether how many updates are available for my Linux Mint operating system. If you have a look at the menu option we get three sections one is the places the system and the search button and the favorites. The search button works pretty well it works exactly like the spotlight of our Macintosh it's very quick to respond and the favorites provides us with the most favorite applications that we use frequently. The system are the system based application and the places are the system based places. So that's pretty much the made graphical user interface. The XFC graphical user interface is one of the most simple graphical user interface of Linux Mint. It's for those users who feel simplicity is the best thing and it's really very 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 simple. Instead of two icons we have three icons on a desktop. One is for the floppy disk, one is for the file system that's our operating system files and third is the home folder now the home folder will again contain my documents, music and so on and so forth. At the bottom we have several options like the places, the show desktop button, the menu option. The menu option provides us with a compact menu just like the Microsoft Windows XP and it has all the applications categorized by type like whether I want to go to an accessory application or something like that. When you right click you have tons of options and these options are not there in our made graphical user interface but one thing which it lacks is the search button which makes it difficult for finding certain things. So that is pretty much the XFC graphical user interface and there's nothing much to talk about it. XFC, XFC was always meant to provide a simplicity sort of graphical user interface and keep the operating system minimalistic so that it is fast and quick to perform and provides better performance than others. So it's up to you whether you want to try this particular graphical user interface or not but I would suggest you don't stick to it because it lacks number of features. The KDE graphical user interface has a clean desktop and it is more towards the blue side. So we will find blue colors highly prominent in this particular graphical user interface and we also have certain options on the desktop which provide you to add a new panel or even add a new widget. Panel is nothing but the taskbar which you see at the bottom. We can also leave or lock our screen or lock our widgets and have some more cool stuff with our desktop. At the bottom we have a grey color taskbar with blue tinge and the kickoff application launcher is different. It's got my favorites, it's got my applications it's got my computer stuff and my recently used stuff. So the applications is further divided into categories and I have a search button on the top which allows me to search for anything that I want to search on my PC. That's really nice. We have a file manager at the bottom that's the dolphin 
file manager and the show desktop button the best part is the buttons are really big on the right hand corner we have the connectivity status of the hardware connected to the machine and also the date and time and the activity panel so that's pretty much the Linux Mint KDE graphical user interface the cinnamon graphical user interface of Linux Mint I personally find as the best it's got a clean desktop if you want to you can also have your my computer and home folder on the desktop and it's given a darker tint that's majorly black color we have a black taskbar at the bottom which shows us the pinned applications the show desktop button also the connectivity status of various hardware connected to a machine the date and time and also a button to show all the windows that are currently open it may be an application window like my browser or something or anything and I have the menu button. Cinnamon graphical user interface is highly customizable. We can also add workspaces. And the best part of this graphical user interface is the way you add workspaces. It's really very, very simple. And it reminds you of the Mac graphical user interface with those hot corners on top, left, right, and bottom. So that's really nice. The menu is slightly upgraded like the Windows 7. On the left hand side I have my all, op all applications categories and on the right hand side it gives me which applications are there in that particular category. And on the left hand corner sidebar I get my favorite apps and options to quit that's shut down or put it to standby. And I also have a search button where I can search for anything I want and it's really quick to respond just like the Mac OS X Spotlight. So that's pretty much the graphical user interface of the Cinnamon graphical user interface of Linux Mint. So that's it and I find it as the best one.